Can conviction be cultivated? What are the precursors to embodying conviction? Yeah, 100% it can be cultivated. So the conviction is the internal part, right, of knowing what you believe in. And that takes just looking inside and asking questions and getting clear, what do I believe? Why do I believe it? What is that based on? What would be my parameters to change that belief? What would I have to see? What kind of evidence would I have to see in order to change that? That's a really powerful question to ask. What kind of evidence would refute my conviction here? Because we always want to be open to, hey, I might be wrong on shit, right? Everything that I believe in that I say, I might be completely off base, I might be wrong, and better evidence comes up. Always have to keep that open. It's really thinking through what are all the counter arguments and then reflecting on them. All right, that's valid, but here's why it doesn't hold water in this case or here why it doesn't apply or here's why it's wrong. And so you just you really think it through. And a great way is to actually engage, right? Have the conversation, put yourself out there, whether it's over Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever family things or on social media or whatever. Put yourself out there and listen to the feedback and see what people say. If they have great arguments, then you're like, huh, yeah. You take it into consideration and maybe you strengthen your position or you nuance your position or you change your position. That's how I would build it. And then there's the decision and the commitment to showing up. Generally, when you commit to something and you're like, I'm committing fully to this thing. I'm done, I'm committed, there's no question. That's gonna instantly bring up all of the voices, all the reasons why you can't or why you shouldn't or why it's the wrong thing or why it's never gonna work or whatever your voices say. You wanna be aware of those voices and you listen to them. Sometimes there's some emotional healing that needs to be done and we need to actually feel into the feeling, let it expand, breathe into it, let it pass, maybe you shed a little tear. But the act of committing is gonna bring up those voices and then you just keep doing it. The key to committing too is to recommit recommit, recommit, and recommit. You commit to something and then you get off track. What you don't do then is you don't beat yourself up over it or ask, oh, why did I do that? I always do that and go all drama on that. You just turn right back around and recommit. That's how you do it. When I quit alcohol in 2019, it was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna stop drinking for a year, see what happens. Once that decision is there and you really mean it, it becomes fucking easy to do it. Because you already decided. You're not even wasting a second thinking about whether you should do it or not. You just decide it.